Hey guys, welcome to a very frosty morning at the Salier Habitat. It is nippy this morning. Um, but what I wanted to do is talk about a couple of products from Roaring Fire. Um, the guys from Survival Dispatch sent me a couple new things and, I, and I'm digging them. I'm going to show you how I've incorporated it in, into my kind of everyday use, everyday carry kind of kind of deal. Um, the first one that I want to talk about is my, my tool roll. This tool roll from Roaring Fire, Fire Gear is, is pretty good. And I think the way that I'm going to start using this is is my use it as my honeydew toolkit basically i don't know about you but i'm a married guy and my wife always has miscellaneous chores for me to do around the house whether it be you know everything from hanging a picture to fixing a leaky toilet and everything in between um and the problem with a lot of those tasks the, a lot of those chores that i've got going on around the house in addition just to the stuff that's on my list um is that preparation and setup to do those chores is the pain in the neck. So what I've decided to do is keep um, this small tool roll in the house so I don't have to make the walk from the house to my truck or out, out to the barn. It, the barn's 25, 30 yards away from the house and it's just, you know, inconvenient and kind of a pain in the neck. Not that it's that far, but you get it. You get what I'm saying. Um, but if I could keep this in the house with just the basic tools that I need to take care of 99% of the jobs inside the house, I'll be that much more likely to get those things done and make the wife a little bit happier and you know what they say about that um so um on the outside I just got a cheap pair of safety glasses whatever you're doing i just hate getting crap in my eyeballs so whenever i can whenever i'm not too lazy or i remember to do it i put these babies on and just saves getting stuff in the eyes um nothing worse but open it up um it's got these kind of compression straps here that keep everything really tidy and locked down tight and you could tote it around and it's not going to go anywhere it keeps everything really organized nothing's going to fall out of it and i like that but when you unroll it um the thing i've used one of their tool roll bags before and it had some like velcro small little pockets and i think this is a big upgrade i don't know if it's a different model or if they still offer the other one i don't know but this one i really i think i like a lot better because of this zipper pouch here and it can just keep some miscellaneous things that would fall out of the tool roll if uh if it didn't have that but in there i've got a small 16 foot stanley fat max tape measure um, a roll of electrical tape and then i've got a box of bits here all of the bits that i could think of i just went through this thing and kind of sorted out miscellaneous um miscellaneous bits from phillips head to star drive and uh nut drivers and all that stuff i should have just about everything for most jobs in in here and that's all that stays in this zippered pouch here um on the end of the on the end of the tool roll and then if you open up the tool roll you'll see that i've got just all of the necessities i mean obviously there's going to be some jobs that are going to require a more specialty type tool or an actual boxed in wrench or you know whatever but like I said before, most things I can take care of with what I've got in here. Small hammer, claw hammer for whatever, whacking things. A carpenter pencil, a small little flashlight, a pair of needle nose pliers with some side cutters on them, a uh, razor knife, one of these 11 and 11 and one screwdrivers with all the bits that can go in them, a, an adjustable wrench, a good pair of crescent, crescent channel locks, and I keep my old Ryobi drill, I use an impact driver for everything, even drilling holes. All of my bits I've changed now have that speed chuck loader on there. It's quick and easy, it's fast, and you can do everything. I, I, I can't think of a situation besides maybe drilling really, really big holes that you need like a big auger bit or something like that. I can't think of a situation where I can't use this um, instead of a, a regular, regular drill. Um, so this one, my old retired impact, I'm gonna keep with this kit inside the house and I should be able to knock out everything. So there's that. The other small pack from Roaring Fire Gear that the guys from Survival Dispatch were so generous to send me um, is this one. I believe this is called the Ember Pouch. And I, th when I first saw this, I thought, you know, I could put some a small kind of survival kit in there and make that work, um, put all kind of the necessities in there. But these small survival kits like this are always lacking a little bit. You can, it's always hard to put in, you know, maybe the big container like a metal cup or something like that. And I thought, you know what would be better for this is my first aid kit. This 
is what I've been carrying my first aid kit in the center console of my truck, just so I can grab it and go if there's something going down. Um, or I can attach it to my pack or something like that. But the problem with this is it's just kind of just one big pouch for the most part. And everything kind of just was crammed in there. And when you open it up, stuff poured out of there and it was just not very organized and tidy. And I like to be tidy. So this pouch from Roaring Fire Gear solves that problem for me. And I really like this pouch. It's very durable um, and it fits all of the things that were in my, my first aid kit before and, and plus some. And it keeps everything very organized and separated where I know where everything is. So on the first side, it's kind of a clamshell sort of design. Um, in the first side, I've got my modular bandage here. Just put it in there on top. And I've got some of the some of the real deal important stuff here. It's got some shears if I need to get some clothing cut away from an injury or a wound. A rat tourniquet. I like the rat tourniquet because it can get really small for my children. Um, the Sawyer Mini um, cleaner plunger thing um, to back flush the filter. This is great for irrigation of a wound. You can spray water in there at a high velocity and get crap that might be in a cut. Clean it out a little bit before you bandage it up. Always a good idea. Um, and then behind, behind that in this little flap, I've got a, uh, a chest seal, Fox chest seal. In here, I've got just some miscellaneous ointments, um, antibiotics and things like that, some lip balm, um, and then a survival blanket, a Mylar blanket tucked in here behind there. I think that's it for this side. But over on the other side, we've got a whole nother half of this little pack, whole nother half jammed full of stuff. Most of the stuff here is just rolled gauze, rolled gauze, band-aids, little whatnots, alcohol swabs and things like that I keep in here as well. Um, and then here on this side, this is the zippered side. So if I wanted to keep things a little bit more, um, more organized and not have them flying around in the bag, I can do that on this zippered pouch. And I actually like this. This, this is kind of a screen. It's a rubbery, I don't know how to describe it, a flexible rubbery kind of screen mesh. And it kind of got a little bit of stickiness to it, a little bit of tackiness, and it keeps things from sliding out uh, on you. Um, just some medical tape. A um, nasal airway, um, whatchamacallit, whatever you can't remember the exact name, but you know what I'm saying. Open up the airway so we can get some oxygen in there. Um, and then just some meds, basic painkillers, um, ibuprofen, Advil kind of thing. Um, and then there's also some medications like anti-diarrheals and things like that. I have quite a bit of first aid medical training, but beyond first aid, I, I don't know what to do. I'm not a surgeon. So this can get somebody to the next step, basically, until help, more advanced, better trained help arrives. I'm a, uh, you know, an amateur superhero. I'm not an actual superhero. So, um, but this first aid kit, has everything that I need to solve any problems. And you can tell it's a good zipper because I'm, I mean, I jammed stuff in here. I really crammed it full and the zipper is not failing on me. And that I can, I can attest is a good thing because if the zipper was to fail under this pressure and this cramming, it would not be a product that I would endorse. Um, it would not be something that I would feel comfortable putting my name on, but that a lot, it's, it's crammed in there good. And I had to really crank on that zipper. Um, so to me that says it's, it's a good product and I, and I'll stand behind it. So anyway, guys, um, the tool roll and this, uh, Ember, Ember pack, I think are good products from Roaring Fire Gear. And it'd be something I think that, that you would enjoy. You could put into your daily use, um, or a gift for somebody else would be a, be something I think somebody might appreciate. All right, guys, thanks for tuning in. We'll see you on the next video. Make sure you hit that thumbs up. And what do they say? Stay safe? Nah, safety third.